Today we're going to be looking at a pen which is a, you know, a continuation of sorts from my last video which was on the Faber-Castell Loom. Obviously this is not a Loom, it's actually a Platinum Plus here. But uh, my recurring thought from that Loom video was you know, if you had a couple of different pens that had pretty much the same nib, for example, the nib that the Placier has was is actually the same nib as uh, that's from a very uh, popular pen, uh, which is the Preppy, right? So, what exactly does the rest of the series of pens actually bring to the table, right? Um, seeing as you know, there's quite a disparity between the pens in the Platinum lineup that have the same nib, right? So, going back to the Loom, Loom's nib was shared between other pens like the like the grip and so on uh, so i did this pretty much the same thing for uh, the so-called preppy nib for the lack of um, better better name so looking at this graphic down here apologies i'm balancing my notebook uh, against my tripod you'll see that uh, the preppy nib is used in the preppy of obviously um, it's used in the pre fonte it's used in the placier which is what i showed you just now the procyon as well as the cool not sure whether i left out other models of platinum pens uh, could have left out some but i think these are the the main and the mainstream pens that are using the preppy nib some characteristics of this of this lineup is um, the Preppy, the Prefonte, and um, the Cool all have kind of clear plastic demonstrator-like uh, characteristics to the de to their design. The two pens that are alloy are the Placia and the Procyon, and um, that's notable. The reason being, uh, first of all, some people actually don't like demonstrator or clear style pens. Uh, me being one of them. The other thing is, you know, these are alloy which should translate to a better quality, I mean, not quality, but a durability of pen, right? Metal is, you know, you know, you would say definitely much more robust compared to plastic. Um, other characteristics, obviously, are the main, the main one would be the, the Preppy has a plastic clip, whereas the rest of the pens have strangely enough all of them have different mod i mean designs of clip uh, and they're all metal obviously um, the other thing to highlight would be um, the section design of these pens so the preppy has a very essentially this is the preppy um, section if i open up the placier and if i open up this entire uh, area down here Right, this area down here is, is actually the preppy uh, grip section. So why do I highlight this is because um, I like sections that are very broad. I mean, at least lengthwise. Uh, broadness in terms of girth is also important. Um, but this area down here is what I mean when I, when I mention um, the section. And um, from what I gather, the Preppy, the Prefonte, and the Placier all have a similar style of grip section area, which I actually like. I like the long, uh, more girthy section. The Procyon has a smaller, uh, more tapered section. I'm sorry, I don't have a Procyon with me. Um, and then we have the Cool, which has a out of all these pens, it has the most elaborately designed section area with a little grip ring, uh, sorry, a little um, silver or chrome ring at the end of the, near the nib. You can kind of Google the cool to kind of take a look at that. Um, last but not least, uh, we have the price, right? And looking at the price points, if you can, the, the question which I'm going to attempt to, to kind of answer today, at least for myself, is um, if the preppy is like four to five dollars do all these other pens actually have a place or you know, if you're deciding to get a platinum uh, one of these platinum pens 
uh, in, that you're looking at right now. And to kind of be to be straight up front, um, as similar to what I concluded in my loom video, it, it really depends on how much you value the nib. I, I value the, the preppy nib very, very highly. Um, so um, one of the benchmarks, which I always say is that the nib constitutes 50% of the pen's design or, or, or use, obviously. Um, and I think you can't go wrong with the preppy. However, these other pens, if you get them, it will be because of the design, right? There must be something design-wise to appeal to you about the, these rest of the pens. Um, I picked a Placier today because it's alloy, it should be more durable. However, all these other pens have some benefits, I'm sure. So that was a quite of a lengthy intro. I just wanted to look, uh, give a very uh, give the, the stage to the Placier, which was the main topic of today's video. So it is a cigar or torpedo shaped pen. Thing that jumps out to you design wise is this very thick center band that says Platinum uh, Japan. It has these chain link um, and it says chain links down here and it says Placier. I personally feel that this a little bit too broad for my taste, but uh, you know your your taste could be different. The clip uh, on the cap is very very plain. It's it's so plain, right? Uh, could be a a clip from a like a very very uh, kind of a common ballpoint pen. It does work. It's uh, relatively you know grippy. Um, they, the ends of the pen are just kind of uh, you know, rounded off, so it, it is a cigar shape anyway. One nice thing about this band, um, besides it being too big, uh, is it protects the finish. The pen is finished. Mine has a very beautiful navy finish that's polished to a very high degree. It's very, very, very smooth. Almost Urushi-like in smoothness, I, I would guess. Um, inside the cap, it's plastic, and you know, talking about the weight of the cap, it is the the shame of it is that this piece down here actually contributes a bit to the weight of the of the cap. I prefer lighter caps, to be honest. Um, this area of the pen, you have the nib, which is like I mentioned, the preppy nib. I happen to have the zero point five or the medium. Um, on the other side, you would see that this is also the preppy feed. For the Procyon, there's actually um, an extra, or rather they've lowered the feeder tube to kind of the midpoint of the feed down here. So that's a special characteristic of the Procyon. Looking at the rest of the pen, barrel isn't uh, anything special. It does, is obviously threaded its metal threads. Uh, one other thing about this pen, which is also the case with with all the other platinum pens, it actually has the slip and seal. Can't really see it down here. It does have the slip and seal mechanism to keep the ink uh, moist and not let the nib dry out. So looking at the, the pen actually came with a cartridge, which um, you know, I didn't use. I actually used this uh, another style of platinum converter, which is actually the slide converter. Um, it's just because I had one handy. I do not recommend this converter though, um, because it's it's very easy to kind of press uh, this this slide down here. I mean, assuming maybe one day you kind of made a mistake to kind of catch the edge and it will result in ink being dumped um, all over the place. But this is what I had uh, available, which is what I used. I loaded the, the pen with uh, Waterman Mysterious Blue to kind of test things out before I changed to other inks. So nothing much to say about that. So um, one other thing before I do the writing sample is to kind of show you the 
the packaging that the pen came with it was just a plastic box um, down here as you can see it's plus here fountain pen blue and inside the box pretty much it's just a mention of that slip seal mechanism that you can actually leave the pen for one year without it drying out never tried that yet um, yeah and some other kind of interesting instructions like ingestion of the cap will pose suffocation which is interesting um, I bought the medium as I mentioned earlier on and the fine nib is also available so today I'm going to be using um, Rodier and I've already inked up the pen as I mentioned earlier on so this is the platinum and you know in terms of things like line variation um, not much I mean you can press it is relatively soft nib and it's 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 very smooth and not sure whether it's coming out on the on the camera but it is pretty I mean it's relatively wet right uh, probably medium wetness um, balance wise the pen is balanced pretty much with when you don't post it it's pretty much balanced um, in front slight by a little bit and if you put the cap I think it's because of the weight of this band down here if you put the cap it will then be balanced slightly to the back or in the it's kind of uh, it will make it slightly back heavy but not too much so writing with this pen sorry can't spell today handwriting is all over the place today but it's a very smooth it's very smooth nib right uh, no complaints about the nib in in terms of what I recall of the preppy you know the preppy has a little bit more feedback to it however it could just be this particular nib this nib is way smoother than the you know way smoother than the preppy's nib so to conclude from my original question which, which I started the video with um, and the conclusion is you know what are my thoughts um, about this pen compared to maybe the other pens in the in the platinum lineup that use the preppy nib so kind of to bring back my illustration earlier on I think it's it's again back to the issue or the, the question of design you know and your um, priorities when getting a pen all of these pens would have the same great preppy nib it's uh, you know for the preppy that's fantastic value at four to five dollars that's a no-brainer basically whether or not you would get these other four uh, would be totally based on the whether or not you like certain design aspects of the other um, one over the other my suspicion I haven't really measured or found measurements for these other pens they would probably um, have the, the kind of the similar length um, and it's just probably whether or not you like I mentioned what you prefer I wanted to try out a metal pen um, there have been some reports of preppies cracking right or or leaking so basically my my thought in terms of the entire range uh, to pay roughly three times more for a preppy to get a plus here that's relatively fine perhaps the sweet spot would be the the prefonte but you know I don't have one to try out 
and the other two they, they have been positioned slightly higher um, you know it would be great if I could get my hands on one of these in the future um, but that's generally my thoughts right the sweet I mean the sweet spot would be these two um, and you know this is a no-brainer these two are, are definitely because you like the design in some way so that concludes my video for today I hope it helps um, hope you got some information out of the video let me know your thoughts in the comments um, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.